Let's learn how to build a profile in Datalink Import-Export. I have a spreadsheet with new equipment and updates to existing equipment. I want to import this data into my database rather than making those changes one record at a time. I've already installed the Datalink Import-Export tool included with every edition of Impulse. Here, I just need to log in with my username and password. To get started, I need to build a profile for my import. To create a profile, I click the Add button in the top right corner of the screen. Then I need to give my profile a name. Because I'm importing, the default option here works nicely. Now I'll save this by clicking the Save button on the right, and I can see this in my profile list. With Datalink Import Export, I'm allowed one profile at a time. Also, by default, Datalink limits us to 999 records for any record area import. If we need more than that, we can always contact Impulse, providing our login name, database, and record increase number. Next, I need to create my data connection. This will connect the data source that I'm importing from to this profile. I'm going to click Manage, then I'll click the Add button to add a new data connection. I'm going to use the same name as my profile here in my connection description. I can see the file type defaults to Excel. CSV is also compatible here. At this point, I want to ensure my Excel file is closed. Then I click on Browse to locate my file. I select the file and click on Open. My Excel worksheets will populate over to the right. If I have more than one worksheet on my Excel workbook, I'll be able to choose from this dropdown. Next, I need to check the box here next to first row is a header, so Impulse won't import that first row of column headers as a record with the rest of this import. After that, I can click on Test Connection to ensure Datalink is reading my file. I click OK in the pop-up that tells me the connection has been established. Now I need to save the data connection by clicking the Save button. I'll see this populate here in my data connection list, and I can close this window. To use the data connection I created, I need to click the drop-down next to Data Connection and choose Equipment Import. Datalink will read the connection and populate all of my columns into this source table box. Next, I'm going to choose the destination record area here. This is an Equipment Import, so I'll choose Equipment Records, and I can see a list of all the fields I can import to in this selected record area. Now I can begin mapping my column headers to the record fields. I map the ID first. I can see these are highlighted in a color once I click Map. This indicates the values are related. With this import, I want to update existing records and prevent creating duplicate records, so I'm designating the ID as a unique identifier. Now that this is mapped, I select the ID from the source table, then right-click and choose Properties. Here, I want to make sure the box next to Set as Unique Identifier is checked. If I'm not creating new records and just updating existing records, I would choose Skip Record under the No Matches found. Then I click OK. After that, I follow the same process to map the rest of my fields. Select the source value, select the matching field in the destination, and click Map. Once all of my fields are mapped, I can come up to the top right and click on Save. Next, I'm going to click on Scheduling. With the standard Datalink Import-Export that's included in every edition of Impulse, the only option here is Manual. To import my records, I just click Execute. This pop-up reminds us we may want to make a backup of our database, just in case. But I'm confident in what I'm doing, so I'm going to say yes. Next, I'll input my password and click OK. Once Datalink has imported my records, I get a pop-up stating the records were imported successfully. Now I can see my equipment records are all here in my database. What a time saver! For questions about this topic or any other topic, feel free to email us at support at impulsesoftware.com or give us a call at 800-944-1796.